Hello guys, welcome back to another video. In today's video, I'll be trading again with Paul Caption. And over here, I have a very powerful strategy to show you guys. And this strategy is going to teach you all about trend, how to trade with trend, all right? So in today's video, I'm going to show you the best moment to actually jump in in a trade based on its trend. Um, this strategy doesn't really need an indicator, but for the sake of the beginner, I'm going to make use of two moving average to actually make the explanation more easy for you guys to understand. All right, I'll be using the strategy on Autism Market. And of course, it's a 30 second um, trade time strategy. And of course, I'm using it on a 10 second time frame and then Heineke Ashi Candlestick. Also make sure that you enable the timer on this part. So that's pretty much the setup. So I'll be making use of a two moving average my first moving average period should be 16 all right so make sure that you're using it on 16. the moving average should also be on sma on the start spot here i'm going to make use of white color and i'm going to take my line to be on to Brazil. so that's pretty much all you have to do so when you're done you hit save all right so the second moving average comes with a period of five all right the moving average should change from sma to ema on the start part here, I'm going to make use of the yellow color. I'm changing this to 3 pixel. And then when you're done, you hit set. So this is the only thing we're going to make use of on today's strategy. All right, so like I said, it's an Otis strategy. I'm 30 second only work with Otis market. Do not forget that. So we're putting up my currency pair up real quick. Then of course, I'm gonna come down and enter a trade and show you the perfect condition you always need to put in the trade anytime you're finding a strong trend all right okay guys over here i'm finding a good moment but not yet for me to enter the trade so when you see an intersection of your board moving average the next thing for you to do is to wait for like three or four candlesticks giving you a strong confirmation of an uptrend before you enter a trade all right so as you can see right here the last four candlestick wasn't that strong but i'm waiting for that candlestick that will give me a confirmation of a strong uptrend before I enter the trade. If that doesn't happen, do not enter the trade, all right? You can see that there's a reversal here, but you just have to wait to have a very strong confirmation of a candlestick before you enter the trade, all right? So I just wanna enter this trade before I explain in details on how to spot the moment. Okay, I think I'll be placing the trade on the next candlestick. All right, a good one. As you can see, on the last two candlestick here is very strong. So that's the reason why I place the trade on that. All right. So let's wait and see. Okay, guys, a good one there. We're in the money on that. Um, so how this strategy work, guys? So I want to use this particular position to actually explain how it works. So I want you guys to be a little bit attentive here. So guys, let me actually use this as an explanation uh, real quick. And before you enter a trade, there's some certain things you need to confirm before you enter a trade which I'm going to show you um, right now. The number one thing you always need to confirm anytime you're going for an up trade, the number one thing is to always make sure that you are taking the trade on a very strong um, support level, all right? Make sure that the trade is actually in a very strong support level. Don't enter the trade when the trend is in the middle, all right? We are only aiming a strong support level and of course a strong resistant level all right i hope you understand so before you enter a trade you also need to consider the trend you have as you can see right here there is a very strong uh, downtrend in this position before the intersection happen in this position all right so number one thing is for you to confirm the trend so when you say downtrend and you have a very strong um support level if you're going for an uptrade the next thing for you to do is to wait for your boat moving average to intersect after your boat moving average intersect and see the boat moving average is actually giving you a head up like the boat moving average is trying to give you an uptrend confirmation the number one thing is to wait until you have a couple candlestick to confirm the trend so when my intersection happened here i need to wait to confirm at least three or four uh strong candlestick before i place the trade what i mean by strong candlestick means that 
um, in this position we must have at least three or four candlesticks giving us a strong confirmation of an uptrend all right the three candlestick or four candlestick must be on a full body candlestick saying that it's giving us an uptrend before we jump into the trade so when you confirm that you need to wait on the next candlestick to give you another strong confirmation of an uptrend before you enter the trade but the most important thing always make sure that the intersection of your board moving average happen in a very strong um, support level or resistant level i hope you understand so that was it guys let's keep analyzing okay guys over here i'm finding another good moment but as you can see right here this particular candlestick has not given me a strong confirmation yet so you just have to wait until you have a very strong confirmation before you place in the trade i hope you understand you always need to place in the trade when you have a perfect confirmation because you are doing this on a very short period of time so there is no room for a mistake okay it is actually a very perfect moment right there i'm gonna place to trade on that real quick all right so guys always make sure that before you enter the trade the particular candlestick you're placing the trade on must be on a full candlestick a full body candlestick all right make sure that the train the last few candlestick following the train is very perfect as well before you place the trade i hope you understand a good one okay guys over here i'm finding a moment you can see and this is actually a very perfect condition but the reason why i'm not placing the trade is the fact that the current candlestick i should have played the trade on has formed a doji candlestick so we don't place the trade only place the trade when you see the current candlestick in a very strong position all right make sure that you have a full body candlestick giving you a downtrend confirmation before you place the trade it's very important all right okay i think i'll be checking on the next trade all right doesn't trade on this real quick all right guys good one there so guys i hope you actually understand how this works it's a very simple strategy you don't even need an um, indicator if you're able to understand how trends work in the market but I only make use of these indicators to actually make it very easy especially for beginner to understand how it works so make sure you're using the same setting i use with the indicator setup i hope you understand but taking my last trade okay guys over here i'm finding a good moment i'm placing this trade um real quick this is another perfect condition the intersection just happened right here and you can see the last four candlestick above there is very strong so this is actually another good moment so that's the reason why i placed the trade all right so guys let's wait and see if this is going to be a good one all right we have less than two seconds the money on that. so that is where i'm going to stop on this trade and like i said do not forget that always make sure that you're placing your trade I'm on a very strong um, support level anytime you're going for an up trade or on a very strong uh, resistant level anytime you're coming for a down trade it's very important also the platform link is in the description if this is your first time on my video make sure that you use the link in the description to sign up on Paul corruption and also make sure that you join my telegram group the link is also in the description and another thing is that i do not message people i want to be the first person to message you all the link i have is right there on my video description anything other than that i am not the one managing it please there's a lot of scammer out there impersonating me do not trust anyone that message you saying that they're trading pipes or anything i will never message you i'll never ask you for money i do not manage accounts and i do not send signal on binary option i hope you understand i will never ask you for money um keep yourself safe keep your money safe i'm anyone that message you i'm not the one i hope you understand so guys, if you like the video, please give me a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel, and make sure you turn on the notification bell so that I don't miss out on my next upload. I love you, and I'll see you in the next one.